Yeah, that leads us into our political analyst, John Dadian. We're talking presidential election, local mayoral election. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. So it's been quite a week. Uh, we'll start with the presidential race. There's been a lot of attack ads out there. There's been a lot of, of back and forth over Medicare and, and uh, Paul Ryan. How, who won the week? Uh, big week. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's just <laughs> so much. It's really, you know, hard to decide. Obviously, it's been a week now since the vice president on the Republican take out his name. Yeah. So that's the big one. He's been out on the stump, and he's out on the stump by himself. So that's what people are judging. He's doing pretty well from what I've seen. Uh, Romney is outpacing the incumbent president on fundraising. So I think that's a big that's a big indication going. They're still uh, concentrating very hard on fundraising. So it's really been a very, very hectic week. And of course, the biggest news is a group of former intelligence officers and SEALs have started an organization to bash the president specifically on whether or not he's using the Osama issue for political reasons. Is that the swift boat issue? Well, they're comparing it to the swift boat, sure. Yeah, okay. The swift boat was for Kerry, and so there's, they're comparing it to <coughs> that. I think there's kind of apples and oranges difference. I agree with you. Uh, we were thinking about um, San Diego's con contribution here. In San Diego, we were learning that uh, the mayor's wife and chief of staff donating to the Obama campaign. I mean, how much people here locally going to add to that, how that all plays out? Well, again, people still have this uh, image that this is Republican and conservative area, but there's a lot of Democratic support here, and a lot of donors do come from this area on the Democratic ticket. And we have some big races here locally that are the Democratic Party is watching, such as the congressional one with Brian Bilbray. So a lot of Democrats across the nation are watching San Diego, and they use all of California, including San Diego, as what we call the ATM machine. Paul Ryan seems to be overshadowing Mitt Romney a little bit. Is there a danger in doing that? It seems, or is that a strategic position for the for the GOP? It's very strategic position, and I don't think there's any danger at all. Yeah. There's a couple ways that you can use a vice president, and what we use the term is as a tack dog, and uh, he hasn't really filled that role yet, and I'm not sure if he's going to, because quite honestly, I don't think he needs to. Mm -hmm. But he is very strong. If you saw one of the events that he did this uh, weekend, he had his mother there, and I mm -hmm. thought that played very well. All right, let's talk to anything happened in the local mayor race this week? Oh, they're very quiet. <laughs> Just a little. Very, very, very quiet. quiet wasn't I, it? <laughs> I, was at, I was at that, that uh, you know, one of the first debates they had, and, and they were, you know, I was asking them questions before the event, saying, hey, are you guys going to bring up the lily palm thing? They're like, no, I don't think it'll come up. And then there you go. When it's the start of right the away. event, right away, it was the first or second issue, we, not even brought up by reporters or media there, by actually. I believe it was I believe it was Filner, if not the moderator. Himself. They got into it, didn't they? Well, all three of us several months ago predicted that this mayor race is going to be red hot. Yep. And again, it wasn't really that tough a prediction mm -hmm. because we keep. I, I think I, I've said several times. My pet peeve is we forget this is the eighth largest city in the country. Mm -hmm. This is big time politics. I mean, for example, everybody thinks San Francisco is a big city. City of San Diego is twice the population of San Francisco. So the mayor has a big impact. One of these two, if the Filner gets in, it will be the first Democrat in 20 years to be mayor of San Diego. If DeMaio gets in, it will give a lot of fuel to the pension reform throughout the country. Um, I'm out on the street a lot, and I'm talking to a lot of people, and they're all asking, why is Nathan Fletcher not in this? We know why. He didn't make the general. They, want, they are wishing that he was in this race. Um, I think there's a lot of people that are unhappy with their choice for the mayor of San Diego. Um, where is Nathan Fletcher? Is he going to get active in Filmer's campaign as Mr. Filmer asked him to? Again, just this week, there's been a development with uh, uh, Assemblyman Fletcher uh, back in the news. Uh, keep in mind, he's still an assembly member till the end of the year, but he is an independent, so he's not in the Republican caucus up in uh, Sacramento. So what happened uh, this week is there was a very touchy bill that w another Republican, not Nathan Fletcher, because he's an independent, but a Republican switched his vote to give the Democrats a one vote on, on a on a funding bill, et cetera. But Nathan Fletcher came out and blasted the Republican Party. I was a little surprised at that. I don't think he needs to keep doing that. But basically, he was very harsh and said, this is why we're losing people for the Republican Party. So he is going to keep on that theme, whether or not he gets involved in the race. I have no idea what he's going to do. Did he get involved in a Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, super PAC, Nathan Fletcher? There was some, some talk about that. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much, John Dayton, our, um, our uh, political analyst.